that surprise Baltimore City Council bill to ban plastic bags in Baltimore is being slammed by retailers. Instead of asking consumers to pay the five cent fee for a bag, retailers will now have to pass along the cost of paper bags. The ban could pass the City Council next week without the public even getting a chance to weigh in. 11 News I Team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller joins us live from City Hall tonight with more on the story. Jane. Well, Don, if the city council president, Jack Young, and other members of the council thought they were going to slip this bill through the plastic bag ban without anyone noticing, they should think again. We just got word that a national group called the American Progressive Bag Alliance is planning a new advertising campaign in Baltimore to fight it. Consumers like the convenience of plastic bags. I like the plastic bags because I use them for inserts into my trash bags at home. You know, my little trash bags that I have in the bedroom, bathroom, and whatnot. But they also see the downside. What I don't like is to see plastic bags stuck on trees and, uh, you know, in the, in the water down at the harbor. And so that's the bad part. Get rid of them. You find them in the inner harbor, you find them in trees, you find them in your front yard. The Baltimore City Council thought about imposing a fee on the use of plastic bags, but was scared off by last week's election results and clear anti-tax sentiment. All those in favor of approving this bill say aye. The council president figured an outright ban on plastic is easier to sell. Retailers object, calling the ban just as expensive. The corner grocery and convenience store customers often walk to purchase important items like milk, bread, and diapers. They use bags to carry their items home, the Mid-Atlantic Convenience Store Association said today. Brown bags are more costly and cumbersome. Plastic bag bans are already in effect in cities that include Portland, Oregon, Austin, Texas, Seattle, Chicago, Honolulu, and Hawaii. And next summer, the use of plastic bags will be banned in the entire state of California. Baltimore's council moved the proposal forward last night with little debate. The council president shut down council member Ricky Specter when she asked for an explanation. It already done passed. Specter said she was at a conference over the weekend on issues at the harbor. Plastic bags, she said, are the wrong target. The data said that the tonnage of trash in our inner harbor was generated by plastic bottles and cigarette debris. Nothing about plastic bags. On a related note, at least as it pertains to the hot topic of taxes and fees, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake today announced that tomorrow she will announce a panel, an outside panel, that's going to study the city's tax and fee structure. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.